now that the leather is on all the spars, I think it's time for a bit of a rigging test. To that end, I'm setting up this mock mast trunk here. Definitely need the rigging diagram here as a reference. So I'm just trying to set up this point here on the yard. So we got a, a rope loop with a, a thimble in one end, like so. And it's attached to a shackle, which is attached to a block. And then the halyard comes from the shackle around the starboard side of the mast, back to the block, up to the block at the top of the mast, and then down through. Well, I've ostensibly got the yard and the boom fastened on here. It's a little bit windy, but not much. This might not have been the best idea I've ever had. Um, even a little bit of wind <laughs> causes the sail to basically go out of control. And the mast is not particularly well stayed, so... Well, while this has been a relatively fun exercise to see the uh, mast standing up and the rig going up it, I think I'm going to stop doing it. <laughs> the mast is just not held in place enough and a tiny little gust of wind comes and it gets, gets uncontrollable and the mast starts tipping and I'm worried about damaging something. Got all four of the hatch handles installed. Come on, come to your home. Yes. Still need to do the hatch dogs for the port and starboard. She started drilling them and then I realized that these bits here don't extend very far out here. And when I drilled through, I was kind of half in it and half not. It was a whole calamity. So I think I'm gonna to have to glue a little bit of an extra block here to take the screws. This one really doesn't fit very well. I think I need to trim it down again. All right, I've gone through all my hardware and sorted them into little bags by purpose. So here we get all the stuff for the out haul. Boom lift, the oar locks, the down haul, halyard, the rudder and tiller, the hatch dogs, the centerboard haul, etc. etc. So all the fasteners and all the hardware separated into little bags, and all the correct fasteners should be in there. So when I go to install the down haul, I should just be able to pick up this bag and it should have everything in it for the downhaul. Same for mooring cleats, reef lines, etc. It was just all on a big box before and it was all just loose and I wanted to get everything together and make sure that it was all organized and ready so I wasn't trying to scrounge around and find things or maybe I'd find out that I was missing a particular fastener. There are a couple of little bits that I'm missing. I've written those down. So I should be able to sort that all out and have everything ready for when it comes time to put all the hardware back on after painting. I'm going to glue in these handles properly now. So just going to remove them, get a bunch of the adhesive filler, fill up all the gaps, pop these back on, wipe off the excess.
Well, it basically looks just the same. I don't know if I'll be able to take these off again. I was originally intending to do that so I could paint under them and then put them back on. But if they're epoxied on permanently, then so be it. Need to glue these little blocks here underneath where the hole goes here, so approximately there, to uh, give the bolts enough meat to go through and have a washer on the back. Because I didn't think about this before. Now I've got the backing blocks under here, I've redrawed the holes, etc. To be able to get the hatch dogs on now. Hatch dogs. Hatch dogs installed. definitely a little bit loose and this is obviously not watertight there's no seal on it uh, whatsoever but I haven't done that part yet so I'm gonna put a seal on it don't worry but for now it's good so we have the sideboard cap here and it goes in here and it covers the centerboard trunk this should be removable so you can get at the centerboard later Maybe remove any obstructions and things like that. And the plans, it has screws coming in from this side, which go through this meaty bit and uh, hold it in. Just regular wood screws. And I'd originally thought that I wanted to replace those with bolts so the wood wouldn't wear out from having the screws screwed in and out. But then I thought, why can't I just do something like hatch dogs? Seems like it would be a lot easier. It's just really difficult to screw in from here and then how do I attach it on the other side and I'd originally thought that I'd put some threaded inserts in the wood here so I could put a bolt screwed into the metal insert but you know how to drill that and everything and just mm, huge pain. So I thought if I pop it on like that I could put a hatch dog here and I could put one there and it would just hold it down. Then I thought I don't really want a hatch dog here because people's butts are going to be there and you know bad enough having them here. One here would be no problem, because there ain't nothing there. So I came up with another idea. And where is my screw? I'm bloody hopeless at uh, this kind of thing. So I thought, if I put something in here, sticking out just a little bit, just maybe five, 10 millimeters, and then drill the corresponding hole in the end of this, I could kind of slide this side in, in like that, then push this end down, and then just secure it on one end, and it would be secured on the other. So I thought I'd give that a go. Let's cut off the tip and round it over. So we just got this little boy sticking out. And I just pushed it against that thing and hammered it a little bit. So we've got a little indentation exactly where it needs to be drilled out. So hopefully this is a good idea for the centerboard cap. I want to reinforce it somehow because I'm afraid that I might snap it if I don't watch out. So hopefully that all works out and doesn't break anything. Yeah, 